What are you waiting for? You have parts together. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Odd Grotta might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grotta follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. Embrace. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. Alright. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. Stocking up.
Might need that. They're just children. Time to see Karst and get a tripcaster. No one else around. It's safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. Well, 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 an outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me.
that you've got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. Need them soon enough.
ammo, but not out of ideas. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Orana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? You know the matriarchs might cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. I tried looking for her myself and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll accept any punishment if it means she's safe. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight.
opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth. Free. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine. That's one. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Okay. Won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribes bring us on this mission? They did. The kills we've passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? It saw me. Why did I bring you? Test. To hone my skills again. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. 
They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many Braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a Brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Light.
again. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. I have to let him go. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is... I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. 
come to observe the Puja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> so loud and happy. I wish it could stay like this forever. Huh. It's a good day to be Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough you'll have to tell oh, us when I'm not supposed sure to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Aloy, over here! Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. 
And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Until next time. Next time? I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Later, Karst. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace, it's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude, written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Earth. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance, hold Luminance. your fruit, nor uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azuram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. And to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> People it's for the gods to judge the Karja, not me. On the eve mm, of your should be left in the past. No, the Karja stand with you as the sun strikes, frames the stoutest trees. As those you have Everyone's nurtured, acting like these cursed the Karja are honored guests. These are wearing a focus, join your just like mine. But they will stand tall in the sun. I am grateful Where did he find for your audience. To be taken into your did you see those Karja walk past? I You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... 
I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. And maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. In honor of my mother, whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. Oh, mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. 
so from one to another passes the chain of love. Fast, fast, fast. There's Olin. What about Vala? I have some questions for him. Blood of a war chief in her. Shame that musician didn't come back this year. Hmm, you're taller than I remember. It was even better than last year. Hello, Owen. Amazing. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me, that's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking, that's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court, that's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Ah, too much romance and not enough fist fights this year. Boss, boss, boss. What about Vala? She's drunk. Blood of a war chicken. Everyone knows tears. The goddess put us here for a reason. 